Hello there, my fellow fans. Today's celebrity news. No, Sam Hugan is not the father of Kate Chernobyl's son. Tony McGill speaks out. Sam Hugan's on-screen chemistry with Kate Chernobyl has some Outlander fans convinced they are a real-life couple. A small group of vocal fans, who Balf has described as those crazies, have shared some seriously wild theories about the duo who've played Jamie and Claire Frazier for five seasons and counting. Sam Hugan has never dated his stunning co-star. In the past, both Balf and Hugan have made it clear that they are not a real-life couple and have never dated. Instead, they are just good friends. There is a small vocal group that really wanted Sam and I to get together, which is just a testament to the characters we portray. That the love story is so inspiring and so aspirational that people just really wanted to believe in it. And that's a nice thing, Balf told Parade in 2018. The Outlander star is married to Tony McGill, not Sam Hugan. In a recent Vanity Fair cover story, Balf opened up about how her life has changed since finding fame with Outlander and the passionate, sometimes obsessed fanbase that comes with starring in Diana Gabaldon's long-running book series. Balf revealed that there are some fans who believe her 2019 marriage to music producer Tony McGill is fake. Some even went so far as to call the church she and McGill got married in to get proof because they didn't believe the marriage was real. The 42-year-old says she's heard of private investigators who've been hired to solve the case and prove without a doubt that she and Hugan are involved off screen. No, nope, Sam Hugan is not the father of Katra and Balf's son. Balf shocked fans in the summer of 2021 when she announced via Instagram that she had given birth to her first child. The Irish beauty says she never kept it a secret from her family, friends or co-workers, but she avoided posting about her pregnancy on social media. Balf's secrecy had some fans obsessed with the idea that Hugan was her son's father. Instead of McGill, they also pointed to supposed clues that supported this conspiracy theory. Most notably, these stands thought the bed sheets in the baby picture Balf took of her son's tiny hand looked similar to sheets that showed up in a photo Hugan posted. Katrina Balf was not hiding her pregnancy. Balf says that she is a very open person but she didn't see a reason to share the news of her pregnancy on social media, much less give any updates. It's not like I was hiding my pregnancy, Balf says. Everybody at work knew, all my friends knew, anyone I came into contact with in my life knew. But in terms of putting it out there, no, I don't see the value in that. I think there's certain things that are nice to have for yourself. The Outlander star is more protective as a new mom. Now that she has a son, Balth admits she's become really protective of him. She hasn't shared any pics or details, not even his name. Things have changed for Balth now that she's a parent, and she's committed to protecting her son from obsessed Outlander fans. When you have a kid, you become really protective. I don't want those crazies because that's what they are. I just don't want them talking about him, Balth explained. It's sad because you meet the loveliest people who are fans of the show and they're super supportive and they do the nicest things. And then you have that little thing which just taints it really. All right guys, let me know what you think of today's installment. Like, comment and subscribe and goodbye for now.